Welcome back to i for rgb Today, we are yet again looking at a really cool piece of analog video tech that I won on an online auction. That is, a JVC Mini DV DVD combo unit from the early 2000s that I won for $27. However, after taxes, handling fees, and shipping, that sweet deal nearly doubled in price to $47. I'm starting to really not like doing these auctions, but nevertheless, happy to give this one a chance. The sticker on the front suggests that this was most likely used for sports and coaching, which makes sense as the target audience for this unit would have been classrooms and small-scale video production. And overall, the condition looks to be fairly good. Let's get out my Sony Trinitron and hook this thing up to test. Starting with the DVD player, and today we're testing it with my childhood copy of Regular Show Season 3. And wouldn't you believe it, the DVD player is working just fine. It's really uncommon for me to find a DVD player not working, especially ones with higher quality drives like this. But now for the more important part, testing the mini DV deck. I loaded a test tape, hit the play button, and... Error. Well, that's not good. I hit the eject button, and yep, it ate the tape. Sadly, this was to be expected as these JVC Mini DV combo units seem to easily break and have been since their release. Looks like I'm going to need to take this one apart for further inspection. The next day, I got to work on disassembling the entire Mini DV compartment, one of my most ambitious repairs yet. Lucky for me, YouTuber the Tech Genie had a video showing this process and making it feel a lot more manageable. Once I got further in, I found it very obvious what was going wrong. These two gears have damage and broken bits inside their tracks, making me believe that these broken points are making the tape deck load improperly. My idea is to give them some fresh lithium grease in hopes that it will allow the parts to move more freely. Putting everything back together, and would you believe it, the tape deck now works! I gave it a cleaning tape just to make sure the heads and tape paths are solid, but this thing is playing a tape back perfectly. I'm still in awe that I was able to actually give this deck just a bit more life, and pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to get there. I hope that this video and future ones like this can help you out in fixing your own tape decks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to follow, and I'll see you with more i for rgb